Hello everyone, today I'm going to be replacing the shocks on my 92 F-150. Here is my replacement. I think we should be able to do all this without even taking the wheel off. So, uh, just one bolt down below and one up top, and then we should be able to get this out of here. You're going to need a deep socket for the bolt on top. I've got a 9 16 socket okay so I was finally able to get a vice grip in there and I broke it loose or I might be breaking it off but either way it doesn't matter so that top one eventually broke off after loosening up for a while so this bottom one You've got to get a hold of both ends. I've got an 18 millimeter wrench and socket. So I've got that nut off, so now we can just push that bolt through. So now this should just swing out. There we go. Here's the replacement one I got. It's just a Summit brand that I got from Summit Online. Uh, here's the order of the washers and the bushings. And uh, it also came with the zip tie, which I assume goes down here. And just get that on there as tight as you can. Uh, so we'll just leave those bottom two on there. And then once we get it through there, we'll put the bushing and then the washer on top. Press it. There we go. Now we'll just feed this bolt back through here. And we'll get this nut started on here. Now moving back up here, we'll just slide these over and we'll get this nut started. And it came with two nuts, I'm not really sure why, maybe we're supposed to double nut this. Uh, even though it uh, wasn't before, but I guess why not if it came with two. So we'll go ahead and tighten this one down. So we've got that one on there. Now we've just got to tighten the one on bottom completely. the same on the other side and I don't think I pointed this out but obviously I've got the tire uh, pointed this way so I have more room in here to get to it and I did notice that it doesn't really look like there's a whole lot of travel with this new one 
but I did just bounce on the front end a whole lot and uh, it didn't seem like it was getting close to being a problem. So I guess I'll just try this out for a while and see how it goes. But the tube on that one definitely seems like it's a good inch or two shorter. But uh, I did the vehicle check your check the fit or whatever it said it would work. So I guess we'll see.